Hey, uh, Sandy Moss here again in my professor's closet with a, uh, another sort of interesting uh, object here that is new to me, uh, something that I purchased not too long ago, uh, but it's, it, it has a, a certain interest to it that's more widespread than mine because a lot of people like these sorts of things. This again is a pearl oyster shell, okay, smaller than the ones that I had talked about before, uh, and it has had the back of it, the, the back of it with the calcareous kind of rough outside, a part of the shell has been removed, probably chemically, probably dissolved away with acid, to leave just the nacre lining, the mother of pearl lining of the shell. And then the shell has been placed on a carved stand it appears to be made of ebony wood, and it's carved very elaborately with, with floral uh, objects here, flowers with petals. Uh, and this type of stand and the, and the, uh, the artistic uh, sort of existence of it leads us to think this is certainly Chinese. This is Chinese carving that's practiced in China and has for a long period of time been practiced in China. But this shell now has not been carved, it's been painted. It's oil painted and it's painted with a, with a nautical picture that shows a ship uh, that has sort of a, a characteristic appearance and we can identify something of that ship from its appearance. So here we have the, the ship that's been painted on the nacre on the inside of this smaller uh, a pearl oyster shell. Uh, and you can see immediately the ship has sails, fore and aft sails, mast here, mast here. It has a square rig sail here, it, and it has these sort of uh, jib-like uh, rigged actually with uh, the posts that come out to help support the sails here. But it's also a steamship. You see the, the chimney here, the, the smokestack, trailing smoke in the breeze. Uh, and this is the cabin and the, the superstructure of, of the ship, and you can see portholes and so forth here. Now this is probably not a, a ship that was used uh, to transport passengers whole scale. It may, it may have carried a few passengers, but mostly this is a merchant ship, which is its long hull here fairly deep in the water is for carrying goods, uh, not so much people. Uh, there's an ensign flying off the stern here that appears to be a British ens ensign. It looks like the Union Jack uh, sort of ensign here. And it's flying flags from the, the aft mast here, which also look characteristic like the flags which these ships would fly with the company uh, that owned the ship's particular flag. So what we have here is a British, probably, merchant ship. Uh, and this is the sort of ship which after, uh, as the age of sail was abating, that is after 1850 and into the 1870s and 80s and so forth, more and more steam vessels were being used and still having uh, plenty of uh, sail. In fact, these kinds of ships were used, for example, in the, in the U.S. Navy, so-called steam sloops, uh, well into the era of uh, even the First World War. Uh, so what we have here is a, what we would think of as a China trader, a British ship that's going to China and bringing back goods in trade for things that the ship brought from England to China. Canton was a major uh, point where trading was going on and, and there was a, a, a very famous uh, port in Wampoa, which was uh, downstream from Canton and, and foreign ships went there and were received and did their haggling about prices of whatnot uh, and then loading up with oriental goods which might include uh, things like uh, China, China's favorite for China, okay? uh, and opium and various other kinds of materials that were manufactured in China and brought back to the West uh, to uh, be sold in
Britain, and this was also going on in the United States. So here we have an oil painting of a Chinese trading, or actually a British trading vessel, most likely going to China, uh, and most likely this was painted by a Chinese artist. Uh, in Wampoa and other, other places in this uh, Chinese trade business, uh, there were many Chinese artists who painted pictures of particular vessels, uh, and these were sold to the captains or the owners of those vessels and brought back. So we have, we have a, 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 an abundance in this country and in Britain of these pictures of American and British ships, uh, sort of portraits of the ships which were done by Chinese artists. And that's, that's basically what we have here. Uh, it's a lot older than you would think at first guess. It's, it's got some chipping in the paint, but by and large, it's an excellent, excellent uh, example of this sort of nautical art uh, done as done by Chinese artists in the 19th century.